Hi, Charles Moman here. Yeah, I, I did that. Um, what am I doing here? I mean, I love my Jackery units. I've got the Jackery 500 solar generator and the 160 that I started out with. So why on earth am I running a generator if I have all this juice to run a lot of things? And these two can run a lot of things. Well, today I want to talk briefly about situations that I'm not normally in. My wife and I tend to camp with our little six by eight runaway camper um, typically at places I'd say 90 percent maybe even 95 percent of the time we are camping someplace where we can plug in the only exceptions are the rare occasion uh, maybe at a cracker barrel and I've done that more than my wife two or three times when I've been by myself going somewhere with the camper or last summer we were at, uh, in Colorado Rocky Mountain National Park love that place and we camped in the campground and we had no power. Uh, same thing at Capitol Reef. Love that place too in Utah. I've really gotten into Milky Way filming so both those places are awesome for that. And so, but it wasn't a problem for us. Um, we typically used our units to run fans, to charge up batteries, laptops, um, phones, things like that. And so when we were driving anywhere in the park at either place, we always would have our car charger, 12 volt. We would plug that in right here where I've got the, the generator plugged in and we would be fine. It, uh, we didn't really run, the, run them down very far so it wasn't a big problem um, but we weren't doing heavy duty use. We might also run a fan because it, it got a little warm in Utah uh, but that's, tip, that's the main thing that we did. Um, but most of the time we're camping at campgrounds with electricity so uh, I don't really need this most of the time and I usually typically don't take it with me. Um, the other option, of course, is to use the Solar Saga 100 watt panel that is great. And you plug it in just like same place, and that will get you charged up, but not on a day like today. So I thought it's, it's a week away from Christmas. It's a little cold out here. Uh, if it was a whole lot colder, you have to be careful about using these outdoors, but we would have them inside anyway. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be running them outside. But if you are a van lifer, let's say, or you uh, typically go off-grid, or um, you're boondocking, then you probably might already have a generator. If not, I really highly recommend the Honda. This is Honda 2000. I got it when we bought our first runaway camper in uh, 2016. And turns out we really didn't use it that much, but I'm really glad we have it because if the power goes out here, I can still run my pump here at my house at the well, or I could also run the, my wood pellet stove. So still glad that I have it, but if I was doing BLM camping or national forest, places like that, uh, wow, this, and it was a day like today where you're not, this is not going to be of much value, the solar panel, then the, the Honda generator would be uh, a great choice for you. Yes, it is. It's more pricey, that's for sure. But when you know, it's funny, whenever I, on discussion boards, on Facebook, or um, YouTube videos, when people are talking about other brands, and you know, you got lots to choose from, and everyone's got their, you know, what they can afford, I understand that. But sometimes it's kind of false economy if, I'm, if someone's going to save 100 200 bucks uh, and get a lesser brand, because typically they'll say, well, it's not a Honda, but... Uh, and so I'm not doing a, a, a survey of other generators, I just know... Uh, most people know that these are great generators that last a long time. So if you're in a situation where uh, you don't have access to power because you are off-grid, you're way out in the boonies, um, this would be a great combination of having a generator with your solar generator and then uh, you've got these to run inside your camper, your RV, and they work great and we're just thrilled uh, that we have them. But uh, again, we don't need this most of the time but if we knew we were going to be way off grid somewhere uh, on a trip, um, then I would make sure to carry this along with me. So a Honda generator and Jackery solar generators make a great combination. Thanks for watching.